Shalom, beloved. A word. I wanted to talk about the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth. <clears throat> John 16, 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. He shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that he shall speak, and he shall show you things to come. The spirit of truth, beloved. He shall not speak of himself, but only that which he hears, and he will show you things to come. Many of us are going through a transformation. Some of us aren't feeling very comfortable with it, and we don't understand what's going on. Because that spirit of truth has saturated us, and now we're clay in the potter's hand. And a lot of things we used to do, a lot of people that we used to be around, a lot of things we used to listen to that sounded like every day doesn't sound every day anymore. You start chewing on meat, it's hard to be around a milk drinker who does not want to grow. And you're transforming, beloved. In the last days, he said he poured out his spirit on his male and female servant. As that spirit is poured out, that's that spirit of truth where your eyes are open. You know, I'm going to give you one example of what I mean about the spirit of truth versus the spirit of deception and lies. Right now, there's this great push to get blacks of all people vaccinated. As soon as so-called African-American Hebrew said that we weren't getting the coronavirus like other nations, the media flooded where it was almost like the only person in the whole wide world that was really getting it was black people. And he sends that people who will shoot you down in the street, smother you, shoot you in your bed. Suddenly they have one goal. They want to save you because they care. They care deeply. This is the things you're hearing. But it's right on the heels, this propaganda machine, which America is known for yellow journalism, suddenly all they want to talk about is how we got to save the blacks. We got to save them because you know how much we love them. It's funny. <clears throat> you hear this Dr. Fauci say that we shouldn't be afraid. We need to get over the past because many people reference the Tuskegee experiment that went on for 40 years initially selecting like over 600 black men. They followed them throughout their lives. They even went ahead of them and told other doctors places they were visiting seeking help not to treat them. This went on until 1972, over 40 years. But if that wasn't enough, because, you know, we can't reference horrors that happened to us. We need to get over it. The Flint, Michigan water crisis was a Another one. But if that wasn't enough, because sometimes, you know, it's not. There are toxic waste dumping sites put intentionally in African American communities, so called African Americans, and communities of color up until right now, up until right now, up until the now. And yet, you don't hear the media speaking about that, but the spirit of truth is wondering why isn't the news proliferating with that? Anytime people of color, Hebrews, so-called African-Americans, create their own enclave, their own community, over 70% of all toxic waste and landfills are instantly put in those areas. We're talking poisons, okay? You have families that have moved into certain areas and suddenly cancer is overrunning. The children are growing up sickly, which also can have a lot to do with triggering some of the same symptoms or aggravating it if the so-called COVID gets you. But the thing that the spirit of truth has put on my mind, I, I, I just don't hear anybody talking about cleaning up that toxic waste. See, it's not just pollution. 
toxic waste is poison. It poisons the land, it poisons the water, it poisons the air. And it affects you generationally. These areas were targeted. As a matter of fact, any time a new African-American community is opened up, particularly one where the people are not economically empowered, these toxic waste sites go there because they don't have any defense. But everybody wants to make sure we have a vaccine. They're so concerned. They're so concerned. And that spirit of truth makes me go, I wonder where the concern is for that. Beloved, that spirit of truth is testifying, and it won't back up. It doesn't yield, okay? And when that knowledge from the Most High starts speaking to you and testifying to you and showing you things and things to come, Many of you are going through a transformation so powerful, you'll talk about something and suddenly it will start happening and you're going, what is going on? It's manifesting because you're in that spiritual realm. You're tapping into the eternal realm, beloved. Okay. Remember, he said in the last days, I'll pour out my spirit on my male and female servant. Now, many of us may end up confused because we had one thing on the news and we look out in the world, we see another. But you got to remember, the Most High is not the author of confusion. So when that spirit is testifying and it keeps testifying, you got all these people, black folk, so-called black Hebrew, not trusting. But are they all wrong? Are they all wrong in this nation who suddenly cares for all of so dearly, so dearly. I mean, they haven't talked about the toxic waste. They haven't talked about the landfills. They haven't talked about that, that right now. It's been going on for decades. You don't hear that. But suddenly, we want to save you. Well, let that spirit of truth testify to you, beloved. You are a majority. You're not a minority. You're growing. And sometimes those growing pains in the spirit, particularly certain truths, when those truths come to us, they're not always comfortable because they're not what we're used to. As a matter of fact, as you begin to grow, some of us, we try to keep other people comfortable. But some people, you're actually outgrowing. Can you imagine a meat eater doing what the milk drinker does and you're sitting there unsatisfied, not because you got something against the milk drinker, but because you are growing and transforming. And you are a meat eater, okay? You have transitioned from the logo, although you do the logos. What's the logos? The written word into the rhema word where you're speaking it into the atmosphere and it's activating. Some of it is shocking you because well, what's going on? You're transforming. And because you're transforming and taking on that spirit of the most high, you're transforming those things that are around you. You're speaking things right into existence, beloved. We're in the midst of a restoration. And when you go through a restoration, it comes through abundantly. It's an abundant restoration. He said, I will give you back everything. The years that the locust, the caterpillar, the canker worm, and the palmer worm took away. Years. Why? Did he say years? Because many of us have spent years on things. That we've seen the money go out the door. We've seen our hard work. Other people benefit from it. And see, the reason he uses the locust, when a locust goes at a plant, he doesn't just eat the plant itself. He destroys the seeds as well. Those locusts represent certain type of nations. I'm not just going to hurt the parent. I'm going to hurt the children. I'm going to tear that whole thing down. Now, when I go and move on, if there's anything left, here comes the caterpillar and the canker worm and the palmer worm, those others to benefit. But see, now he's turning it around. We're witnessing it with our own eyes. Wow, we transform. Why? Because he's preparing us for himself, beloved. That's why. He's preparing us for himself. Okay? 
remember, even as you go through this change, and sometimes it's not, it's not comfortable, but the truth will set you free. And see, we have to tell ourselves the truth about ourselves before we even get into somebody else. The truth about ourselves. We're not one dimensional. We've got sides that can be mouthy. We got sides that can get angry. We got sides that can be debatable. We've got sides that can be easy and quiet. And we got to allow that spirit to mold those sides. Okay? Peter was with Yeshua in the garden when they came to take Yeshua away. Peter took out his sword and cut off the priest servant's ear. He was doing it for a righteous reason because he loved the Lord. Even though the Lord had to correct him and tell him, no, he who lives by the sword shall die by the sword. But the passion was in Peter. Okay, it was there. So don't deny yourself who you are. Don't try to fit in. Some people, they want to dress a certain way, look a certain way, act a certain way. When you know it's fake. When you know it's fake. That spirit of truth will set you free. Sometimes you got to tell people, I'm not into that anymore. Or I'm not ready for that. Okay, and be true to who you are to allow that growing process. The shoes you used to wear got too tight. You can't wear them anymore because you're going on up to a higher ground and you need boots this time to trudge through. Okay, and you got to break them in. You've got to grow. Okay, and you're noticing, wow, I'm not walking the way I used to walk. I'm not going to places I used to go. I'm not doing some of the things I used to do, and I don't want to. Why? Because that spirit of truth is upon you, beloved. It even makes us assess ourselves, our anger, our frustration, how to handle it better, how to handle it differently. Some people who may once got into the blame game, we're not blaming the same anymore. Why? Because we know we played a part in it. And we can get resolution and peace through the honesty of saying, you know what, it was me too. It wasn't just you. It wasn't just you. Spirit of truth is sitting there going to tell it and tell it true. It wasn't just you. It was me too. It was me too. But you're growing, beloved, and you're changing. He's preparing us. Because we're going home soon. And I pray that the Most High lets His Spirit come down and have His perfect way. And let His one-third hear this. Let that remnant grow, beloved, while we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, the Spirit of Truth. He's a counselor. He's a counselor. Some of us don't know what's wrong with us right now. All out of sort. It's called growing pains. You ever see when a child becomes an adolescent and they got long arms, they don't know how to handle themselves yet. You got to get comfortable in that new body. Okay, the voice gets deeper, hair starts growing, and things start popping out that were not there before. But they're going through a transformation, beloved. They're shedding that old skin and transforming into a whole new being. That's what's happening to you. Your eyes see things differently. Your mind is growing and transforming. Your knowledge is different. Your discernment, the way you recognize what is. You can even pick out certain people's statements where before a lot of things just went right by. Now you can zero in like, whoa, and you notice he's transforming you. He knows you have an everyday life in this world, but you're not an everyday person anymore, beloved. Your eyes are open, and that truth will light your path and guide you. He's also a comforter because some of this can grieve you as you're growing. All of it is not always going to feel good to you, although it's good for you. Okay? That's spirit of truth, beloved. The truth of the matter is, even me doing this today, for some reason, something just kept happening. Every time I tried to do the video, something kept happening. And there's very good likelihood I'm going to post this for tomorrow because I have never had this much trouble trying to put up a video. This Somebody must need to hear this. Somebody, This got to be for somebody because this thing took me to the wall. That's the truth. It's the truth. I got frustrated. I got PO'd. 
I was like, forget about it. Maybe the Lord don't want me to do this. I couldn't figure it out. But the truth is, no, no, no. There's somebody. If I keep pushing you to go do it, I've had people run in the room just screaming like, oh, my God, I had to get rid of that. Some people could say you could edit it, but it was right in the middle. I, I, I had my computer just shut off. I'm not really sure what happened. I think I hit the wrong button. Okay. Just one event after the other. Somebody's supposed to hear this, beloved. You're in the middle of a transformation. There's nothing wrong with you. And nobody knows what's good for you like the Spirit of the Most High. See, some things, when they, we don't even always know what to ask Him. We do not. That's why the Spirit makes intercession. What Spirit? The Spirit of Truth. It makes intercession for us through groaning. You ever get upset and it's like, mm, mm. Spirit's making intercession, beloved. And see, the spirit of truth will testify to your spirit, even about things to come. Yes, yes. You start talking about certain things. You start speaking about certain things. You start thinking about certain things that you haven't thought of in a long time. And they start coming to pass. They start coming right back into view. Why? Because you're tapping into that eternal realm, beloved. And that spirit of truth is testifying to you. That's why you can prophesy. You're speaking things into existence, some of which you didn't even know you were doing until you see it manifest. Spirit of truth, beloved. It's a counselor. Certain parts of the day just were not what I hoped they would be. And sometimes, even when we want to do the blame game on the other guy, it's your fault. No, spirit of truth sit there. What? Okay, really, it was both of us. Maybe sometimes more me than them, sometimes more them than me. Spirit of truth will bring it into the light so that you find resolution, which leads to peace, which leads to growth, okay? Because it's growing you up. Those old baby clothes won't fit anymore. You can't run up and down the street like you did. That old vehicle, you can't fit in it anymore because that childlike quality that you had before the spirit of truth came, Mm -mm. It's back there. Now you're getting bigger. You're growing stronger. Okay? Your eyes are open. And when you speak and that rhema word goes out, you start calling things into being. Just like the Most High said, His word goes out, doesn't come back void. When you speak that word, it goes out, doesn't come back void. You can be speaking things and don't even realize you're speaking them, but you remember speaking about them, and they come to pass. Some of you are worried about your credit. Some of you are worried about your job. Some of you are outgrowing people, and you know it. Why? Because Spirit of Truth talked to you. Some of you are stunted, not by your own, but by others around you that see your potential and see the growth, and they want to talk that, oh, oh, oh. Well, you need to be honest and tell them, I'm not there anymore. I'm not into that. That's not a put down. That's not an argument. And that's not a fight. It's just the truth. Okay. And let the Lord sort it out. Because a lot of times if you're showing a false face, you're not running with the truth. Even when you get around fellow brothers and sisters in the faith, don't try to be what you think somebody wants you to be. Because actually you don't even exist on those terms. It's all false. Be who you are. Be who you are. And sometimes that's a very uncomfortable position because you're not really sure how to navigate. But you're growing, beloved. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not crazy. And if everything kind of seems upside down, inside out, you're transforming, beloved. You're transforming. That The conforming is rigid. I've conformed. Now I'm acting like everybody wants me to act. Transforming is fluid. Okay, it's pliable, and that's where you're at right now. So things that may have seemed so normal once aren't normal anymore. But you're growing into a point of restoration and abundance. This isn't something that creates lack. This is something that creates additions. This is something that takes you into a space and place you could not go before. And now you can go easily. Below. I just want you to be encouraged. The spirit of truth, beloved, is upon him. And he's pouring out his spirit. That's why we see the restoration of Yasharel. We see it going on. You're not 
great. No, you're not. It's happening. You're also watching this empire cling to the one thing it always used, lies and deceptions, but it's not working anymore. The most I said, I will discover your skirts about your face. That's what he's doing. The old locust. He's giving back what the locust took away. The caterpillar, the palmer worm, the canker worm. He's restoring. And when he restores, just like in the book of Job, he gave him back double what he lost. The only thing he did not double was his sons and daughters. Because you cannot add soul for soul. Okay? But everything else he does. And as a matter of fact, he made his latter end greater than his former end. The end of the matter. We are coming to the end of the matter, beloved. We can see the light. Even if we don't know the perfect direction, that's all right. We can see the light. And he's changing us and preparing us. That's why many of us are awake. And now that we're awake, he's working on us. Okay? He's in that, we're in that transforming stage. So if everything doesn't seem right and comfortable and you don't understand it, you ask the most how to send that spirit of truth to you. And don't trust everybody just because they seem to have the answer. Some people are going to give you the answer they want you to have because it benefits them. Maybe that's what somebody on here needs to hear because I've been... This video has taken me to the wall. To the wall. One of the things Spirit of Truth said to me, do you mean it? Do you really mean it? Are you really trying to put it out there? Or are you just... Do you give up easy? I, I, I try not to give up easy. But some things I end up wondering, am I supposed to do this? Or is that a sign? Spirit of truth, beloved. Mighty counsel. He for comforters. And it testifies to our spirit. So don't ignore it when these things are going on. Even when you speak things and you suddenly see them manifest and start coming to pass. Even when you wonder why is a certain nation so concerned with us all of a sudden? You have to ask yourself, are they? Are they? They just got the microphone. But here's the funny thing. The most high, he snatched the mic, dropped it. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. You've been exposed. Everybody knows it's the same old song and the same old story, but you're not dealing with the same old people anymore. Okay? Your eyes are open to love. And this thing is more about Yasharel and the Most High than it is those nations because he's going to deal with those nations. He's dealing with them. According to the book of Obadiah, he said, I've made you small among the heathen. Who? He's talking about the empire that's falling. I made you small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. Thy pride has deceived thee. Yeah. So when you look at the fact that uh, the fertility rate is dropping, it's plummeting. Not among Yasharel. Mm -mm. They'll tell you it's plummeting among you because it's plummeting among them. I find it amazing whenever the bad stuff comes, whenever the bad stuff comes, it, it, instead of it being a us and a them, it's a we and a ours, when you know that's not a fact, okay? When you know that's not a fact, transforming blood, spirit of truth, is testifying to you. Do not ignore it. And you're growing. So if you're around milk drinkers, you can speak to them, but you also need some meat eaters. You also need those meat eaters, okay, so you can sharpen your teeth. Because that most high, the most high is, he has poured out his spirit. As he pours out his spirit and we begin to prophesy, we are prophesying things to come, things we see, things that's going on. Because, see, the spirit of prophecy does not just prophesy about things to come. It also prophesies about things that are going on that most people can't see, things that have going on that most people don't know. That spirit. How do we know that's a fact? Hmm. 
was prophesying about the things that went on. What things? When our name was taken away. When our identity was taken away. We not only were taken away from our land. They tried to claim our land as their own. They tried to claim our identity as their own. And send us into the abyss of, I don't know who I am. But the spirit of truth is sitting there going, no, I know who you are. You can't have an entire nation of people waking up to themselves and another nation that never meant that nation any good that was always their enemy. If they couldn't profit off of them, then they only wanted their destruction. No, you can't name them because you didn't name them. Most high do. All praise, all honor, all glory to the truth, which is the most high. Everything Yeshua had came from the Father. He did nothing of himself. So when he honored the Father, who is the truth, there is no lie in him. And we honor the truth. And that spirit of truth comes from him. He can't say anything of himself, only what he is. We give honor to the Most High, the Who. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. In recognizing and honoring the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. Bless you. And bless Father, all praise, all honor, all glory unto the Most High. Let him lead us out of this land and may he cast down our enemy. Let everything they do turn to dust. With the angel of the Lord pursuing them on dark and slippery road as he brings us home, beloved. Time's up. Amen. Shalom, beloved. Spirit of truth. A word.